Right then. I thought I'd pop out today. We have a little ride. It's 31st of October, Halloween today. And Katrina and I live just a few miles from Birmingham city centre. So I'll live right in the town. There's not much to ride around here, not many nice roads. But there is a little area just around the corner called Clint, Clint Hills. Now I've been camping there, but I've not really had a ride around the roads. But today I'm going to go further to the cruise. Just to see what some of the roads are like. It's a nice, uh, well I wouldn't say nice, 6 degrees out at the minute so it's uh, quite a fresh morning. So we'll go and draw out some money because uh, I think there's a little coffee shop there. So I can get myself a nice hot coffee and it's nice cold morning. So I've got all my layers on, thermal socks, base layers on underneath my leathers and my coat, a jumper. One thing I have got on today, uh, but we'll see how we go, I have got my race leathers on, uh, gloves that is. Uh, they only need like kind of one skin thick so we'll see how cold my hands get. Could do with some heated grips to be honest, so um, I think that might be a little um, Christmas box. I think to the for the kids, off them for Christmas. I think I'll have some heated grips. One other thing I want to try out again this morning was this held helmet I purchased. Um, absolutely rubbish for wind noise, but what I noticed um, after we went to Malvern. It's got one of these flip down sun visors and inside the helmet there's a little part cut away where the speakers go for the intercom which is cut out of the lining obviously to allow the visor to drop down inside so it must be a little space and that's where all the noise was coming in so what I did I put a little bit of sponge underneath the speakers just to try and shield it and the right ear is working perfect there's no wind noise coming through that ear the left ear I can still hear it coming through so I've obviously not got the sponge in the right place for that one but anyhow let's, let's have a bit of music just to drown it out I also invested in a pin lock for this voice app and I've got to say, they are amazing. It's a cold, cold morning. I've got the visor down and it's not steaming up at all. Where with my AGV, that was a right pain in the arse. You have to have the visor just open and touch at the bottom, just let some air in. Because you couldn't stop it steaming up. So I'm happy with the pin lock. I just need to sort out the wind on this helmet, the wind noise. Anyhow, let's go. Let's go and see Clint. Mirrors, mirrors again. That's better. It's amazing how different the bike performs in cold air. It really seems to like the cold air. That's where we're heading, up there. The old Bluebird factory, where they used to make the toffee. And here it is, this is the sun.
That's the beer garden. Got a park for the kids. Always nice to have a drink while the kids play. And just down here on the left is the campsite. Let's right, so go and have a look at the campsite. Let's go and have a look. I don't know if it's closed now. And who would have thought all this is in Birmingham City? My own little Wales on my doorstep. It is only little, but it's still here. So today we haven't got Rich. Rich is on holiday. Uh, Steve is in Newquay, Wales. And Matt, I believe, is just doing the normal. He's at work. But lucky for me, I'm on half term, so I've got the week off. Alright, this is a lovely little campsite. And this is Clent Hill's campsite. So boys, Rich, Steve, Matt, I hope you're enjoying yourself. I'm out solo today. We'll have to come and do this little Clint route before Christmas sets in. As I said, it's on our doorstep. Shall we try... We'll go down here. It's a nice house. past 11, size the church. Now this was a house we looked at. Beautiful. Clent Hall. I believe that is Mulvern. Over that way if my bearings are correct. I'm never going to turn this one. Oh. 
Craig, why are your legs so short? Jesus Christ. Come on, short ass, you can do it. Oh, maybe it's in gear. Oh, oh shit. I think. Boys, I'm having a coffee in your honour. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's rocket fuel. Well, you wouldn't like that, Rich. You wouldn't like that. You like your instant. That stuff. Oh, that's not that is. I'll probably do better than doing 20 miles home now. inside this pub. Adam's Hill, Clint. So that's what it was called. Well then, oh, my head's buzzing. Let's go for a little bit more of a ride. Oh God! Come on, legs are ridiculously short. Ridiculously. Ah, oh, that's better. I've moved the sponge inside the helmet and there which cut out all the wind noise. Oh, I know where we are. This is where we meet when we went to Malvern. Well, let's turn around and go back. Well, I think we'll get a picture with that. Some nice pictures there.
There we go. A couple more pictures are done. A nice little wide rain cleanse. And that one bit was I cold. So well worth it. Right, let's head back home. Get the kids ready for Halloween. The wheels on that. Beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh. Very nice. Can't beat a bit of old and a bit of classic. Well. That's the end of today's ride. We're just going to have a look at how much the heated grips are at Street Bike. <laughs>